Hello, I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's a quick look at today's top stories. First of all, Chattanooga Whiskey has announced plans for a much larger distillery in the heart of downtown. The founders originally planned to use a three-story warehouse as a distillery on the south side, but then they began to think bigger. Now they're relocating to a building twice as large in the middle of the city's tourism district. Joe Ledbetter and Tim Pearson say they'll produce hundreds of thousands of cases a year, making Chattanooga Whiskey one of the largest craft distilleries in the U.S. They plan to give their new headquarters a complete makeover and hope to open up next fall. Police say a Tennessee woman ran over her boyfriend three times when he refused to go to McDonald's with her. Authorities say 33-year-old Crystal Greer Brooks of Kingsport was upset that her boyfriend wanted to eat at a different restaurant. They say she forced him to the side of the road and got in his pickup truck to run him over. Brooks was arrested and charged with aggravated assault. Hutchison Medical Center's CEO is leaving the hospital. Roger Forgey started working at Hutchison in 1972. He took over as president and CEO early last year. He's actually an Erlanger employee, and when Hutchison recently decided to part ways with Erlanger, he started planning to resign. Forgey plans to leave Hutchison by November 30th and return to an executive role at Erlanger. The son of Jack Edwin Brown says he wasn't involved in his dad's apparent Ponzi scheme. Dozens of widows and retirees lost their entire life savings in the scheme. Now Jason Brown has apologized to them and says he urged his dad to apologize before he died. Jason told creditors he was hoodwinked by his father like everyone else. But even though no charges have been filed, trustees have said Jason and his wife Janet were intimately involved in the scheme. He was apparently paid $78,000 a year and received more than $500,000 in bonuses, none of which he reported to the IRS. But for his part, Jason called the bonuses gifts from his parents that he was told he wouldn't have to claim as income. Rick Santorum says that given time, the Affordable Care Act will fail. The former Republican presidential candidate visited Abba's house in Chattanooga Thursday. Santorum says the Health Care Act was never in any shape to pass to begin with. He said it was wrong for Republicans to try and defund the law. Instead, he thinks they should have let it crash and burn on its own merits. Santorum also says running for president in 2016 continues to be a possibility. Police are looking for some suspects accused of going on a shopping spree with stolen child support money. Authorities say the women in this picture illegally spent $900 from a child support bank card at Hamilton Place Mall and a few other stores. Anyone who can identify the suspects is asked to call the sheriff's office. Finally, a woman was arrested while visiting the Jackson County Jail in northern Alabama. Officials say 32-year-old Amanda K. Smith had marijuana and a handgun in her car, which was parked on the jail parking lot. A canine in the area alerted officers to the vehicle. Turning to weather, we'll see rain this morning with a high near 72 degrees. The low tonight will be around 45. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.